Assume that we have a step function and we want to get the integral of that step function and we want to show the both uh, both of the results in a scope that has two inputs. Okay, it's uh, very easy to drag and drop from the palette to the simulation panel and then connect the inputs. So that part is simple. I have chosen a CM scope that has two inputs and I have added a clock timer that uh, we will set um, now. Okay, now uh, to set the parameters of the step function, uh, let's see what we want to do. Let's say we want to have a step function that jumps at time 3 uh, to a value of 1 and it will stay at that level. The integral a function basically it's uh, having the standard values except that um, it will have an upper limit and a lower limit value of 10 and now we want to capture the 10 seconds of this function so there are uh, three major parameters that we have to set first in the simulation setup we have to set the final integration time to 10 because we want the simulation to run to 10 seconds and we want to capture that 10 seconds we want our clock to work um, and uh, generate the trigger signal every one tenth of a second basically the scope needs a trigger signal uh, to tell it when to capture the values from the output and we are telling that it should be every tenth of a second now the parameters of the scope um, this scope has uh, two ports I've set the output window position to be at uh, x500 uh, and uh, x00 is the upper left corner of the window therefore 500 and 100 would be about this area uh, 500 to the right and 100 from the top of the window and the width uh, of the scope will be 300 and its height would be 600 because I'm going to see two signals in it now because of the settings that we saw here it's going to the step function is going to step to 1 and the integral function will have values of 1, 2, 3 at times after 1 second after time 3 when is the trigger of the uh, step function 3, 4, 5, 6 and so forth uh, so because it is 10 uh, seconds that we are capturing the, the maximum for y axis it may go up to 20 seconds and the maximum for uh, the step function which is the second signal this signal is the step function it will not go above one so it will stay so I would set the maximum at three so basically we have two charts one is scaled from 0 to 20 and the other is to uh, from 0 to 3 now the refresh period is the amount of time window that we want to see in the scope so if I set it at 10 basically in the simulation I said that the simulation will run for 10 seconds and here I'm saying that I want to capture a period of 10 seconds so this way the total simulation period is captured now if the refresh period here in the scope is smaller than the simulation period then we would only let's say if the simulation period would, would be set at 20 seconds and the refresh period for all of each signal would be 10 seconds then we would see the last 10 seconds of the simulation in our scope so basically the refresh period is the last number of seconds that we want to see in the scope and after that it would be refreshed and refreshed and only the last 10 seconds would be shown okay in this case we will see the whole simulation period the buffer size should be long enough to capture all of the data otherwise we would get a warning now let's run the simulation and see what happens as you can see here my step function jumped up at second 3 and it went to 
1 because it was a step of 1 and my integrator started to increase because it's getting the integration of a step function it's going to continue going up in the last uh, seven seconds we got uh, two value seven for the for the upper input of the uh, scope